So we have Foundation Watch running, and you can see we have this local host, 8000, right here. So let's open the code, and I'm going to make this a little bigger so you can see better the code that I'm, that I'm working. So here we have this index.html, and you can see this is the same content that we have right here. So we can select everything and remove all the code because we don't need this. We're going to start working from the basics of the grid. And we're going to add some other HTML. So first I want to cover the horizontal grid that you will find in Foundation. So with the introduce of the new XY grid, you have two different grids. You have grid for horizontal. Uh, well, you have a grid horizontally and you have a grid vertically. So for example, we're going to add a div. We're going to add div class. We're going to add a grid container. This is a foundation class that you will find on the framework. So this foundation class, normally uh, you will find the class right here on the app.css. So this will create a container for the grid. And from here, we're going to add an h1. And we're going to add this horizontal grid, something like that. And you can see we have horizontal grid. And I want to center this and I'm going to add class text center. This is another class that exists on the framework. And this will center the, the grid. You can see that if I save this and open the browser again, you can see that we have the number two. You don't have to reload anything because since this foundation watch command is running, you can see it says reloading browsers. So this, and let's open this. This gold file contains a, a really nice task that every time that you save something here, it's gonna reload the browser. But let's continue working with the grid. So next that we have the grid container, we're gonna create another div with the class grid X. So we're gonna start working with the X of the grid. So this will be the horizontal grid. So you can see we have horizontal right here. And next, for, for example, you add something like div, and then you add the size that you want to apply. So for example, let's add something like medium eight. And let's add something here like an H2. Let's add something like medium four. So let's add something like logo here. And then we have deep, and then we have something like medium eight. You can see some. This is something really similar. If you already have experience with foundation, we have the instead of having row, we have read x, and we have the medium four and medium eight. But the main change here is going to be that you have to add also cell right here. So this is going to create a cell based, and it's something something here. So save this and open the browser. And now you can see we have logo here and something here. So this is working. We have medium four and medium eight. And this is looking nice. So for example, um, let's add something like six and six. Foundation is a 12 column grid. So both sections are going to take the same uh, content, the same width of the uh, the content that they have available. So this is something nice. So for example, if you wanna copy this and paste and reload, you can see that we have logo here, something here, and other stuff. So for, I'm gonna command C to continue working. Next, for example, I'm gonna open here on the SRC folder, I'm gonna open the assets. And here on the app.css, at the bottom, I'm going to add some styling. Normally, you will add your styles in another file, but I'm going to add the styles right here. So let's add something like a div with the grid X class. And we're going to add a background color, something like coral. So save this. And you can see that we have the, the colors right here. So next I'm going to add some other styling. I'm going to add a cell. You can see a cell is right here. And then we have an H2. So we're going to add a cell. And I'm going to add a background color. And I'm going to add the background color in the H2. So H2. And this is the basic 
SAS syntax. Then I'm gonna add the color of the text. It's going to be black and the background color. So let's add something like corn flower blue. And then we have the margin. I'm gonna add margin zero. And finally, we're gonna save this and open the browser. And you can see that we have logo here and something here. We're missing that part. We are missing this color, this background color that says coral. So for example, and I'm gonna open again the index.html. You can add another class right here next to the grid x class. You can add grid margin x. So save this and reload. Now you can see we have some space right here and some other space right here and some other space right here. So using this class, the grid margin x, we'll add some extra margins right here. And we have some separation between the columns from the left and the columns on the right. So this is nice. For example, if I copy this and paste, so we have more content. You can see that they are really, really close. They are, there are no separation between these. The same way that you have grid margin X, you can change this to grid padding X. So save this and reload. You can see that the result is really, really similar. Nothing changes a lot, but you can see that thanks to the framework, you can separate the classes, the columns with margins or paddings or both because you can also add grid margin X and this will make a bigger change right here. You can see that uh, this is working. But for example, let's say that you want to add some separation between this logo here and logo here, right here between divs. So for example, right here, let's open the code, code and you can add grid padding. Why? Because you can see we have X, X, and we have some separation here, but we want to add some padding on the top and on the bottom, and you can see that this is working. So now you can see we have the logo here, something here, and we have the rest of the content. So that's something really nice. Only adding these classes, you will have access to develop this kind of designs really, really easily. So this is the horizontal grid, we have grid X, and then you give the size of the grid. And remember that you have to add cell right here. So for example, what happened if I remove this? So let's remove that. And you can see we have the remove this and the content is right here. At the moment, this is the basics of the grid. Of course, the grid is really, really big. It contains a lot of, cl or a lot of classes that we're gonna continue working in the next videos so you become familiar with the xy grid so before we finish let's open again the browser normally you can only add one for example we have grid padding x in grid margin x and then we have the y so for example you can remove this grid margin x and reload you can see that the design looks a little better because uh, adding a lot of margins and paddings looks a little weird so something like that will work. Also, if you change this to margin, will work also. So that's something nice. And I think this this looks great, having margin and in the X position and the Y position will work. So in the next video, we're gonna start working with the vertical grids.